Junior College. It's now time to welcome the match officials and teams onto the field. Come on everyone, let's cheer for them. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the finals of the junior category. Here we have Don Bosco Matunga in red and Father Agnils in blue. May I now request everyone to kindly stand up for the national anthem? Good morning again, and as I mentioned, we are here to witness the finals in the junior category of the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Tournament. And we have Don Bosco Matunga in red playing versus Father Agnel Zwashi in blue. We see both the captains there for the toss and the teams waiting for their team picture. We just witnessed a thrilling finals in the sub junior category where in the dying minutes we saw Father Agnels getting the winner versus St. Paul's Dadar. Captains, please join your teams. Both these teams Formidable teams have a lot of history, and this is going to be quite an exciting match here. That's Father Agnel Zwashi, and that's Don Bosco Matunga. It's now time for the match to begin. All the best to both the teams. Thank you. This is the lineup for Don Bosco Matunga, jersey number 9, Prithvi Padwal, jersey number 5, Mrigang More, jersey number 3, Ishan Kamkar, jersey number 4, Agnello Fernandez, jersey number 11, Ethan Fernandez, jersey number 7, Ayush Karat, jersey number 6, Arya Kamble, jersey number 1, Atharva Gaukar, jersey number 10, Johan Punjani, jersey number 2, Om Kirdat, jersey number 8, Cristiano. And the lineup for Father Agnel Zwashi, jersey number one, Avnish Nair, jersey number 16, Faraz Qureshi, jersey number seven, Inos Gurung, jersey number two, Stalin Placeri, jersey number eight, Yash Budge, jersey number four, Tanish Rangras, 
जर्सी नंबर फाइव गी चौहान जर्सी नंबर सिक्स अथर्व पंगेकर जर्सी नंबर थ्री अवनीक नदकर जर्सी नंबर नाइन आदित्य पोहनकर जर्सी नंबर फिफ्टीन विनय शिंदे सी द टीम्स इन द हर्डल्स फाइनल हर्डल बिफोर द रेफरी गेट्स अस अंडर वे एंड to get us underway in blue we have father agnels and here we are finals of the junior category of the reliance foundation youth sports tournament this action is brought to you live by our channel rfys that short for reliance foundation youth sports do like and subscribe to our channel you can watch the matches live as well recordings of the matches on our channel here you see father agnels they had played the ball back to their goalkeeper not afraid to play the ball back to their goalkeeper that's some positive signs there are short not that impressive easy collection for the goalkeeper both these teams have a lot of history behind them there a lot of reputation they generally are seen in finals of tournaments and you can see with the teams playing with confidence not afraid to keep the ball and most of the action now being played in the father agnels defensive half but now we move on this seems like a good attack here but ball played through to the goalkeeper of dan bosco matunga and again don bosco matunga on the attack and they as well play the ball to the keeper keeper with a pass to the defensive midfielder to build up well my name is ferman de souza and i'm going to be taking you through the live action for this junior category finals of the reliance foundation youth sports we are live from washi father agnels so they are playing on their home ground it's their home turf and don bosco here with a shot and that's a goal we have a opening goal in the third minute and what a strike it was a left footed one an absolute stunner I told you this match is going to be an exciting one and right from the beginning we have seen a goal now and that puts the emphasis on Father Agnels now to take the game to Don Bosco Matunga that's going to make it really exciting really thrilling now we can't play safe anymore and here quite a lot of people in attendance you can hear both the teams being cheered unfortunately we can't see the crowd because they're behind the camera catching some shade here on this side of the field
Um, right from the beginning, Don Bosco, Matunga have been putting the pressure on Father Agnels. They've most of the game has been played in this half of Father Agnels. Well, the free kick this time not so impressive. But you see them building up from the back. But they lose the ball. An attempt for a shot again was there, but it was foiled by the defender. And them doubling up this time and winning the ball. Father Agnels need to get into the opponent's half to create some goal scoring chances. But as of right now, they're struggling to do that. Don Bosco and Matunga generally are champions of most tournaments in Mumbai and Father Agnels are champions of most tournaments in Navi Mumbai. Both these teams have a lot of experience of playing in finals. Not something new for them. And both these schools with an absolutely amazing sports culture. The Father Agnes defender reading the pass and intercepting it. Some good control there, but eventually loses out. Goalkeeper playing the ball out long this time. And quite a good kick as it travels all the way to the other end. And Don Vosco Matunga goalkeeper also. Takes the long route. This uh, ground is used for multi sports. So you may see certain markings which may confuse you. But for the touch lines, it's the yellow line that is the touch line, not the white one. So in case you think they, the ball has gone out because it's out of the yellow line. A good, good piece of defending there. Put his body on the line. Didn't think about his own safety. All, all he's seen there is his team's safety not to concede another goal well don bosco defend uh sorry player did win the ball but not judged to have won it fairly as per the referee there was some infringement and now you see 
Bar diagonal is building the attack with some confidence. And a cross coming in there, goalkeeper coming out, defender heading it away. And centre back clearing the ball. That's some good intent there. Father Agnels who's one goal down early in this match. Need to show a lot of that intent, attacking intent. And now it's Don Bosco got a miscontrol there and cleared away long. Defender dealing with it calmly, but ball goes to Father Agnels again. And a left footed cross coming there. Defender initially missed the ball, the but the covering defender got something on it to make sure it didn't go into a father angles player and a miss pass giving the ball and a long distance shot but this time it won't trouble the goalkeeper. A little awkward bounce, but that did not trouble the goalkeeper much. Father Agnels Vashi. It was the first AstroTurf facility in the Mumbai, Navi Mumbai area. 11 aside. That clearly tells you about the culture in the school, how much impetus is put on sports. And there, another beautiful turn and shot. Chance out of nothing. Brilliant work there by the Don Bosco striker. Seen some amazing strikers instinct by him. In this corner of Don Bosco. Finally leading to a goal kick for Father Agnes. This time looks like they're going to go long. They're not going to build up. I know the goal kick was almost given away, but the miscontrol gave it back to Father Angles. And now again a shot taken there. The referee's whistle. That's a free kick. Very dangerous position here. Yeah? Right on top of the penalty area. Approximately about 20 yards out. About 18 to 19 meters away. Ideal to score directly from this free kick. Let's see what can they do with it. Well, the ball was hit into the wall. The wall did its job. Needed a bit more height to beat that wall. Another free kick one there by Don Bosco. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.
That's RFYS, short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. We have this and a long kick taken directly towards the goalkeeper. We have this tournament that is organized by Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. Like I was telling you before that FIFA suggests players playing about 35 to 45 matches a year for development and uh, such initiatives by Reliance Foundation Youth Sports is a step in that direction to give the players some more matches and you can also catch all the action live and recorded on our channel. And a corner kick here for Don Bosco. Cleared away by the Father Agnil's defender. Don Bosco defender under pressure but deals with it calmly. Don Bosco winning the duels and now trying to thread a through pass but it was intercepted and now Father Agnels on the attack As the day goes on, it's going to get quite hot and humid here. It's going to be difficult conditions to play in. Especially the fact that this ground is an astroturf ground, it will get really hot. And it's going to be the willpower of these players that's going to drive them at that point of time. Good shielding there by the Father Agnil's midfielder there. There's been a free kick for his team. Free kick taken long. Doesn't materialize into anything. Good flick there by the Don Bosco player. And he's got through two defenders there and loses his stepping. Or it could have turned out to be a very dangerous situation for Father Agnels. But as the match goes on, you can see Don Bosco building in confidence. And your father Agnels with a counter.
again don bosco piling the pressure there on father agnels and there's no respite from the pressure that's being put on father agnels Don Bosco Matunga would want that two goal lead to feel more comfortable. And again a left footed shot but easily controlled by the defender. Again, the goal kick this time played long. Initially, Father Agnels were playing the goal kick short and trying to build up. But uh, Don Bosco was succeeding in winning the ball high up the pitch, which has made Father Agnels change the way they play now they're taking the goal kicks long and this time a long clearance by the don bosco defender father agnel's defender is under pressure there however finally able to shield the ball away for safety for a goal kick that was some good display of confidence and skill uh, there in keeping that ball for those few passes that father agnels under pressure were keeping it very well but then don bosco won the ball again high up the pitch keeper playing the ball long it's quite a good kick there seen this on couple locations that he's getting quite the distance with his kicks we've seen couple of times alison and edison and the premier league how they manage to put their strikers onto a counter attack with those long kicks and probably father agnels is hoping for the same that their goalkeeper can put them through for a counter attack and this time an attack building from the right side is passed one player uh, but doesn't get past the second one good defending there they have lost the ball again don bosco and again father agnels have lost the ball you can hear the crowd cheering as i told you earlier this quite a crowd here in attendance to watch this match a shot there attempted miscued goes out for a goal kick first goal for don bosco was a brilliant left footed effort there
what a shot it was into the bottom corner of the goal post far side and father agnel is trying to reply with some of their own attacks now but they have lost the ball here and again you see don bosco playing with a lot of confidence but too much weight on the pass so the through ball went all the way through to the goalkeeper As I said, it's quite hot and humid, and as the day goes on, it's going to the temperatures are going to rise, and we we see a cooling break here. We have some water. This cooling break was introduced in the World Cup in Brazil. They also do have similar hot and humid conditions as we do here. It's just a break of about two minutes. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. That is RFYS, short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. The organizers of this tournament, as well as we bring to you all the action live. And if you missed the live action, you can also check out the recorded action of all the matches. Right now we are witnessing the finals of the junior category where in red we have Don Bosco Matunga and in blue we have Father Agnels Vashi. Back from the cooling break and... There you see Father Agnes attempted shot, but the defender foiled it and was an easy collection for the goalkeeper. Playing it out to the right wing there. Good, good long ball. And that pass was intercepted by the midfielder of Don Bosco. Read it well. And the right winger tracking back and winning the ball back for Father Agnels. But here he's double teamed and Don Bosco win the ball. An attempt to play the ball out wide to the left winger, but defender reading the situation and heading it out for a throw in. players attempting uh, appealing for a handball referee said play on and now again the goalkeeper of Don Bosco as well playing the ball long to cry and create a counter attack Mm. 
Long ball to the right wing. This could be dangerous. Cross coming in. And the goalkeeper came out. And didn't get the ball. But somehow the Father Agnes players couldn't manage to put that on the back of the net. Golden opportunity there. This is the second time they have put a dangerous cross in there. And it almost was a goal. You need to keep doing more of that. Good turn there. And then distributing the ball out wide. Here he loses out. The right back of Don Bosco loses out. And there's an attack building. But the centre back of Don Bosco comes. Uses his body. And shrugs away the defender comfortably. Father Agnel again on the attack, but a miscontrol there. Giving the ball again to Don Bosco. Goalkeeper came out. Cleared the ball. And, well, this is an opportunity. The shot taken, saved by the goalkeeper. And evasive action taken by the defender there, resulting in a corner kick. All of a sudden, you can see Father Agnels now showing some urgency. There again, you can hear the crowd in attendance cheering for the teams. It's going to be a left-footed corner. So, curling towards the goal post. And it was a good corner, but you didn't see a Father Agnes player ready there to finish it. And Father Agnes again on the attack. But the defender read that attempted dribble by Don Bosco. And Don Bosco player there. Doing really well to put his body in between and make sure that he forced the Father Agnes player to do a foul and Don Bosco won a free kick. This free kick played long into the centre but goes straight to a Father Agnes player. Not managing to keep the ball in play. Didn't control it on the first attempt and by the time he got a second attempt, the ball was already out of play. Don Bosco with a throw. And a long ball which gets to the player. Ball played out to the right wing defender taking no risk at all. Putting it out for a throw in. And you can see... Now, Father Agnels are asking questions of Don Bosco Matunga. Long distance shot there, but an easy collection for the goalkeeper. It would be more ideal if those shots that they are attempting are taken from a little closer range. Well, that's a good ball there put, but the goalkeeper read that, came out, cleared the ball. But it goes back to Don Bosco. And some good passing there. And then an attempted shot which was totally miscued. And then a clearance from the Father Agnes defender.
is just one goal in it and Don Bosco cannot get comfortable with a one goal lead as you know a one goal lead can be turned over very quickly so they need to make sure they get another one and at the same time father Agnes needs to make sure that they do not get another one and they get one The Don Bosco defender shielding the ball, showing his strength in shielding the ball. Well, that was some good skill there. Sudden burst of speed with the ball. Got the Father Agnes midfielder in no man's land had to trip the player and resulted in a free kick. I guess that was an attempted cross which was flicked with the outside of the foot but it went straight to the goalkeeper. Father Agnel's player going down there and referee tried to play an advantage and eventually brought it back for the foul on the father angles player And looks like a long free kick coming in. Defender heads it away. Father Agnels retain possession. Dribble past one. But not able to dribble past the second one. Ball played to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper plays it out long. Almost got to their left winger. see these players quite confident not afraid to dribble and again the defenders of Father Agnel muscling out the player and winning the ball well a corner kick here for Father Agnels Again, it's going to be a left-footed delivery. So that will be curling in towards the goal post. The first one was a good delivery. And this delivery did not have the height. And one by the Don Bosco defender near the first post and then cleared away. Nonetheless, Paul is yet with Father Agnels. And they have lost it this time. Throw in Don Bosco. We're moving into the final five minutes of the first half. 
what a time it could be to score a goal for any of these teams. Totally change the scenario. Advantage played there. Good work there done on the right wing. And Father Agnel's looking a bit dangerous here. And a free kick. Right on top of the penalty area. Very dangerous position. Generally, a lot of goals are scored from this area. The free kicks. Our diagonals will be hoping to do the same. Referee tells the player to wait for his whistle. Well, he gets all the players 9.15 meters that's 10 yards away and the free kick goes out wide i think there was a deflection there yes so that's a corner kick now it's father agnel's turn to pile up the pressure on don bosco Long ball played towards the second post. Ball came back in, but cleared by the Don Bosco defender. And a long clearance here from the defender, Father Agnels. Seeing the ball. being cleared every now and then that's the pressure talking both these teams are really good teams as you can see the times the pressure in such situations And they do clear the ball. This time Don Bosco playing short from the goal kick and building up. And a good attack building here from the right wing. The defender getting a foot in there. And a corner kick here for Don Bosco. At the very end of the first half, we are into the last minute of regulation time. Corner kick goes through. No one gets to it. Nor does the goalkeeper, nor the, nor does the players in there. Finally, now it's a throw-in for Father Agnels. Thirty seconds of regulation time and added time if there is any. Ball is going on changing possession right now very quickly. But Don Bosco there with some good combination play. However, the defender read that. 
Finally, it's a free kick for Father Agnes. Pressure has been relieved and now they will look to put pressure on Don Bosco. see them again trying to clear and you can see the midfielder here two three times has tried to give a clever pass to his player but has lacked in technique and kind of miscued the pass not not had the right weight of the pass on it and sometimes not the right direction as well but the idea was good Here we see as we move close to the half time whistle, Father Agnels would be desperate. There you see again him trying to be clever, the midfielder, but it's the third time that he's lost the ball there. And a cross coming in from the left side, defender heading it, but ball going back to the Father Agnels player. And that's half time. Don Bosco Matunga leading by one goal to nil. Aditya Pohankar, the goal scorer, with an absolute delightful left footed strike early in the match. And do not go anywhere because we will have the prize distribution ceremony Of the sub junior category, we are going to have the prize distribution ceremony soon. Please do not go anywhere. As I told you in the first match today, thrilling end to it where Father Agnels grabbed the winner in the dying minutes of the game. Heartbreak for St. Paul's. few minutes we'll have the prize distribution for the sub junior category Mumbai championship for the sub junior category don't go anywhere we are going to have all the prize winners The golden glove, the golden boot, the golden ball, and the player of the match today. A 
as well as the crowning of the champions. Welcome to the match presentation ceremony of the sub junior boys category of Mumbai City finals of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports 2022 that has been put rising football stars from Mumbai in the spotlight. That was a great game. Congratulations to both the teams for entertaining us. May I now invite on field our May I now invite on field our dignitary for the match presentation ceremony, Mr. V.P. Joy, Senior Executive, Vice President, Reliance Foundation. RFIS would like to thank All India Football Federation, Mumbai District, Football Association, participating schools, parents and coaches of these students for encouraging them to come out and participate in this tournament. The player of the match for today's game is Nathan Watts. Please cheer up for him. And here you see player of the match. Thank you, Nathan, and well played today. We now move on. To Nathan was top individual performance for the tournament, calling upon the best goalkeeper from of the Agnes, the Golden Glove Award, getting player of the match. from St. Paul's High School. And the Golden Glove goes to Arnav Rahate from St. Paul's High School, Dadar. This is the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Mumbai City Championships. And that's Arnav Rahate winning the Golden Glove. It was a close fight to back the prestigious Golden Boot Award with a tally of four goals throughout the season. And the winner is Adil Golden Sarah. Glove is given to the best goalkeeper. And now we have the Golden Boot. And that goes to Adwait Salonke from Father Agnil's Washi. The golden boot for the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Mumbai City Championships. Golden Boot Award is given to the top scorer. Today because he's also the winner for the Golden Ball Award from Father Admiral Multipurpose School. And for his consistent performance to the tournament, Adwait Salunke also wins the Golden Ball Award. For the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Mumbai City Championships. Congratulations, Adwait. Hello. What a player. So they might not be the winners today, but they are the second best team in Mumbai, led by Captain Gururaj Mani. We would like to invite the runner-ups for today's match, St. Paul's High School, on the field to collect their medals. And runners up here being felicitated, being given their medals. Hard break for them today, as in the dying minutes they conceded a goal. But nonetheless, in a city like Mumbai, coming runners up is not an easy task. 
Well played, St. Paul's. Let's put our hands together for them. Great job there by them. This is the sub juniors category of the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Mumbai City Championships Award Ceremony. And here we see the runners up for Mumbai City St. Paul's High School getting their medals. May I now request the team coach and the captain to collect the prize money. And here you see them receiving a check of 10,000 rupees so that they can develop they played well and they football played the further in their schools. Request the champion's father, Agil, multi-purpose school to come forward and collect the winning medal. And now, for the big moment, the champions of Mumbai City Championships, Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Tournament, Father Agnes, multi-purpose school, Washi, in the sub-junior category. Let's put our hands together for them. They've been brilliant throughout, throughout the tournament. Just played some sublime skill there all through the tournament. And deserving winners. They've certainly written their name in the history books of this tournament. May I now request the team captain and the coach to collect the coveted silverware trophy and the prize money. And there you see the champions trophy, Mumbai City champions. The trophy and the check. What a moment it is. Your time, Father Agnes. Go ahead and enjoy it. Thank you, everyone, for watching and supporting these young players. So imperative that. We all keep supporting these players. And here are the Mumbai City champions, Father Agnel's multi-purpose school Washi. This is their squad. And now you can watch them celebrate their moment. And in a few minutes, me, your host, Furman D'Souza, will be back with the second half live action of the juniors, boys categories, category finals. 
see you again in few mon minutes for the second half live action. Welcome back for the second half live action of the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Junior Category Finals. Don Bosco Matunga in red and Father Agnels Washi in blue. Don Bosco Matunga taking the lead quite early in the third minute itself. And the score has stayed the same since then. Pressure is on Father Agnels now. Come back into this game with an equalizer. Do like and subscribe our channel RFYS, short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. Organizers of this amazing tournament, what an initiative it is. And uh, we bring to you all the action live from across India and recordings of the same also are available to watch on our channel so do subscribe and like our channel that's RFYS short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports And the Don Bosco defender losing his footing there. However, they do manage to clear their lines. And a free kick here for Father Agnes. In the first half we've seen Father Agnes coming close to score with two amazing crosses put into the box. This time, there is some ping pong going on there in the penalty area of Don Bosco. And finally, Father Agnes coming away with the ball. But will they be able to create a scoring chance? No, the defender says, no, you're not going to do that. Pro win, Father Agnes. See Father Agnels piling up the pressure this time early in the second half. This corner kick. Taken short and then an attempted cross which was blocked by the defender of Don Bosco. Father Agnel yet keep possession and now 
creating an attack, a sliding tackle to win the ball there. And then another sliding tackle by Father Agnes, the attacker there. But that results in a throw-in for Don Bosco. Ball is again with Father Agnes. Throw in to Father Agnes. And Don Bosco coming under pressure now. They're finding it difficult to get out of their own half. Father Agnels with some intent here. See, they've kept most of the possession now in the second half. And trying to dribble past three players. Maybe one too much. And now Don Bosco on the attack. And defender taking evasive action. Corner kick Don Bosco. <laughs> Left footed delivery curling towards the goal. It was right on the head of the striker but he completely missed making contact with it now a throw in for don bosco father agnes was trying to calmly keep the ball and play it out from the defense however don Bosco pressing high and finally the ball had to be cleared by the defender of father agnes this time ball has been put in but into the goalkeeper easy collection for him and a long ball there Here you can see father agnes again on the attack Don Bosco's defender reading the situation and getting a foot in there. Now Don Bosco tried to attack. Muscled out there by the father angles defender. Again, them trying to calmly keep the ball in play, but again given away to Don Bosco in their own defensive third. Dribbled past three now. Is there a cross coming in? It does, but it was directly in the area where the goalkeeper could collect it. This time the goalkeeper miscues his kick and doesn't get the distance. And a shot from long distance. But the goalkeeper reads that. And again, a miss pass intercepted. Father Agnels again on the attack. And a throw for Don Bosco. You can see quite some physical battles out there. And that's very much part and parcel of the game. It's a contact sport. And using your body to good use is very important in this sport. And Another corner there. 
Don Bosco. Previous one, the sitter was missed by the striker. Somehow, judge misjudged the flight of the ball this time. An attempt for a bicycle kick. Ball has fallen there, right in front of the goal. Fine. No, the goalkeeper doesn't collect that. Lot of chaos there. Finally, a free kick to Father Agnes. They must be so relieved. In those few seconds, Don Bosco couple of times went close to scoring. Heartbeats of Father Agnes fans must have increased drastically when that ball was just bouncing around in that penalty area dangerously. Free kick, Father Agnes. It's 32 degrees Celsius now, as I was telling you earlier. It will get hotter and humid. And they're playing on an AstroTurf as well, so it's going to get even hotter than what actually the temperature is. It's going to be a bit difficult, but the players have to focus on their football rather than these external factors. It's not easy but they need to do it. And after all, on this big stage of the city championship finals, it's very important that they focus on their football rather than any other external factor and a shot taken there forced to save from the goalkeeper another corner for Don Bosco in terms of possession Father Angles has dominated the second half. However, Don Bosco has come more close to scoring in the second half. And another corner coming in there. But the goalkeeper will see that sailing over his post. And now, goal kick. And the goalkeeper's long clearance there, given back to Don Bosco. And the goalkeeper diving on the ball courageously, clashing with the Don Bosco player. But he has certainly saved a goal for his team. That ball was begging to be put in the back of the net. Had it not been for the goalkeeper, it was a certain goal. And here a strike from the Father Agnes midfielder. 
but an easy collection at the end of the day for the goalkeeper of Don Bosco. And here the Don Bosco player passed two of the defenders of Father Agnels. And now it's Father Agnels turn to attack. Well, four defenders getting in there and not allowing the father angle striker to get his shot away. That was quadruple teaming up instead of double teaming. Do like and subscribe to our channel RFYS. Short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. The initiative of this amazing tournament is taken by them as well as the initiative to bring you all the action live. You can also watch the recorded action on our channel if you happen to miss the live action. And a miscued header. Now Don Bosco, they are running past two. substitution there free kick for Don Bosco we move into the last third of this match, the last 30 minutes. This is the Don Bosco player going to float the ball or try a direct. It looks like he tried a direct goalkeeper, came out and saved. I'm not sure it was going towards goal, but he didn't want to take any chances. And now it's a throw in for Don Bosco. Are the Agnes struggling to get out of their own half?
you can see that a lot more stoppages now the in intensity of the match slightly dropping as the temperatures are rising but it's important to keep focus because in football things can change very quickly and there a ball played in father agnels get a throw in there on bosco defenders were alert to the threat and the didn't give father agnels any goal scoring opportunity there This time the father agnels player shooting but resulting in a goal kick goal kick taken short by don bosco um then by the right back given right back to father agnels Don Bosco on the edge of the penalty area but too many bodies of Father Agnels there not giving them the time and space required to get a good shot on goal And now the father Agnels player getting through. He'll win a free kick here, and that's a yellow card as well for the non-Bosco defender. Good opportunity to float the ball into the penalty area. You can see the defender. Father Agnels going into the box to head the ball. Can they make good use of the set piece and ball directly sailed above the goal post? No opportunity for any Father Agnels player to attack it. and don bosco build up again from the goal kick attempted cross hit directly into the midriff of the don bosco defender
and we resume play here. Don Bosco trying to counter attack. But offside there. And Father Agnels again with the ball. Another attempt to put a clever penetrative pass through the center. The midfielder again loses out. And having to clear that ball. Don Bosco throw. As I said, the story of this half has been that Father Agnels has dominated possession. However, there again you see a goal scoring chance. Goalkeeper save. Good save there by the goalkeeper. But ball is yet in play. Another shot there. Finally, danger averted as the goalkeeper collects the ball. As I was telling you, the story of this match has been that in in the second half, the story of the second half has been that Father Agnels has dominated possession. However, we have seen more goal-scoring chances fall into Don Bosco. Even though they do not dominate possession, it doesn't look like they're low in confidence in trying to score. They continuously are trying to score whenever the opportunity arrives. And you're trying to go past three players. Uh, finally, one too much. This time was able to put the pass, but then the next player lost the ball. Cooling break here in the second half. As per the regulations, when the temperatures are soaring 30 degrees and above, referees can decide to give a cooling break to the player. And this cooling break is to drink water. It's not a tactical break. And then they get back within two minutes to resume. Play again.
the cooling break was something seen introduced in the 2010 Brazil World Cup where they have similar conditions like what we are witnessing today hot and humid 32 degrees Celsius around noon time not easy but it's the big finals and the players need to focus on the task on hand little lapse on concentration in concentration a little lapse in concentration and it can prove very costly in such situations especially with the fact that there's just one goal in it cannot lose focus because of external factors here Father Agnels again with the ball in a dangerous possession. Dangerous position, I mean. But then Don Bosco were able to clear the lines. Yesterday we seen the Morocco team go out of the World Cup in the semi-final stage. What a run it has been for them. to be an exciting World Cup Finals, Argentina versus France. A lot of people wanted to see Messi in the finals. Well, a cross coming in here, dangerous. Striker almost got a touch on it. As I've been telling you in the second half, again and again you can see, out of nothing Don Bosco comes up with a goal scoring chance. Against the run of play a couple of times. Father Agnels need to be wary of it, need to make sure that all the possession that they're having, they make it count in terms of the score line where they score. This time, them coming up with a goal scoring opportunity of their own. Sliding tackle to win the ball there. And a throw in, uh, sorry, and a cross coming in there. 
There were shouts for a throw in, but the ball was in play. Here you see the coach of Don Bosco giving some instructions to his players. Leslie Macharu, coach of Don Bosco, a, a legend now at Don Bosco there. Do like and subscribe to our channel, RFIS, short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. Right-footed curling effort towards goal will come in now. And again, the header missed. And on the second attempt, the striker puts it in the back of the net. I've told you time and again, Don Bosco have looked dangerous. They look more likely like scoring and they have scored. And got that two-goal cushion as we have moved into the last 10 minutes of the game. Would you believe that? Against the run of play, Don Bosco go and double their lead. And it's an absolutely uphill task now for, other, for Father Agnels to come back in this match. And another miss kick here. Goalkeeper again to the rescue. Do like and subscribe to our channel. RFYS, short for Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. We bring to you all the action live on this tournament that is being played all across the country. And also recordings for the same are available on our channel. Father Agnels need to do something quickly. They are running out of time. As I was telling you earlier, they need to make that possession of the second half count. And score the goals that is required for this match. Or else it could prove costly. And already it has proved costly because... Don Bosco went on to double their lead a few minutes back. We are live from Father Agnel's ground, Washi, witnessing the Mumbai Junior Category Boys Finals. In red, we have Don Bosco Matunga. And in blue, we have Father Agnes Vashi playing on the home turf. And another shot attempted by Don Bosco. It 
It was very difficult for Father Agnels to come back in this match. But never say never in football. It takes seconds for the table to turn. And a cross coming in there from the right side. And now Don Bosco. Seeming. To keep the ball better now. And the more they keep the ball, that means less chances for our father angles to come back in this game kick will be retaken because it was done on a rolling ball substitution for father angles Father uh, Agnels clearly struggling now to get out of their own half. Ball launched. But there's no Father Agnels player there. see some tired legs now the hot and humid conditions getting to them another two minutes of regulation time and then added time Don Bosco with another corner kick will be able to run down some more valuable time or maybe even get another goal.
and offside there. And I, by the time this free kick is taken, we would have sh surely run down the clock in terms of regulation time. Depends on how much added time will be added. And looks very likely Don Bosco will be lifting the coveted trophy that they came here for today. We're going to add a time now and two minutes of added time. Not a lot for Father Agnels to play with. Can you see them struggling to get out of their own half? At this time, the long ball played and cleared away by the Don Bosco defender. So, Don Bosco anywhere will do now. It's a matter of just about a minute. And I think Don Bosco have won the ball and this should do it for them. You have to just hold on for another 30 seconds. And that's it. Referee brings a close to the match. And Don Bosco Matunga win this match by two goals to nil. Against the runners-up of this tournament, Father Agnels Washi. This is Furman D'Souza and we'll be back with live action soon of the next match in a few minutes. Until then, see you soon.